Good morning, students. This is our first day together. What an honor it is to be your teacher. Teacher, hmm, I think you would qualify me more than that. Actually, I'm a missionary. You're my mission field. They say it's a job and we get paid for it, but honestly, I do this because it's a calling. I love this. I love you, I don't even know you yet. But I know I can't wait to fall in love with each and every one of you. You know, if you felt invisible when you walked into this classroom, as many high school students do, you don't belong to the football team, you're not a cheerleader, you're not on the debate team, well, you've stepped into the right room. Because in here, there are no invisible students. In here, yes, the number one fear class in America, you have found a home. A home where you'll talk to people you've never talked to in high school. You'll wipe tears that you've never wiped in high school. You'll laugh more than you've ever laughed in high school. And you'll dread the last day of class more than any other class in high school. So what an opportunity I have with you. I want to tell you who I am. More than a teacher, I'm a wife and a mother. I've been married to my high school sweetheart for over 30 years. We graduated from Picking High School together, and we have two sons, Chase and Chad. Chase graduated in 2005, and Chad is a sophomore now. So I love being a mom first, and I love being a teacher second. So you'll see my love for that every single day. Hey, what up, what up, what up? Hey, good morning. Hi, my name is Miss Porter. I'm DJ. Hi, DJ. Welcome to our class family. I noticed you were running just a few minutes late, and that's probably because you couldn't find my classroom. They moved me from the front hall all the way to the back. So better late than never. Welcome. What is this? This is on your schedule. It's called oral communications, but it's actually public speaking. And what's your name? My name is Miss Porter. I'm going to call you Miss Peach. Well, you know, actually, that is kind of appropriate. Several students have already coined that term, Miss P, and that's perfectly fine. You got kids? Wow, you just missed that because you were running a few minutes late. I just shared that with our class family. I have two sons, Chase and Chad. You married? Again, that's really strange. I just uh, introduced myself to our class family as well and told them I am married and I've been married for about 32 years. 30 years? That's right. Well, don't you think it's time for a change? <laughs> that question should be running around in your head right now because the answer needs to come very quickly because you have 30 pair of eyes watching you how you take care of this. Because you see, I've never met DJ before, but the class knew him. <laughs> and so when he walked in, what were some of the words you heard them say? Now, we all been through school before. We know how the first day goes. To us, as coming from a student, we like to, for the, for at least for that first couple of days, we got on new uniform, we got uniform, new shirt, new shoes. And once again, when you sit in your classroom, you look around and see who all in here. So in about five, ten minutes in the classroom, you see, oh, okay, I see who all we got in here. Well, then DJ busts in. <laughs> now, I was in and everybody, oh, they cut off. We got DJ in here. They know one thing. DJ going to give them a show. This is what I've been known for. This is what I'm good at. DJ going to give them a show. And immediately, immediately, I began. I began. Just like that. I asked that question. Guess what? Everybody fell out. The whole class fell out. They laughed. Now, honestly, honestly, research shows the brain seeks pain. At that time, what my brain was seeking was, oh, no, buddy. How dare you come in here on the first day of school? Get out. Get out. I don't have time to put up with that. That's what my brain was seeking. Honestly, that's what I needed because I've learned that 
Negative attention is attention. As a matter of fact, I went back to ask some of my old teachers and I say, you remember Sarah? Sat at the front of the class, made all A's, and they have to think about it. No. <laughs> ask about DJ. <laughs> ask if they remember DJ and watch out there. Oh, yes. I remember DJ, so guess what? I picked up that negative attention. It's just as strong, if not stronger, than positive attention. Therefore, I was ready for a power struggle. Thankfully, I had the skills of conscious discipline, and I view um, conflict as opportunities to teach. So I took a deep breath, and my first question in my inner speech was, God, why did you do this to me on the first day of school? This is not the conversation we had last night. <laughs> okay, but I'm ready. I've got this. Here we go. It's like CPR training. You've done it. You passed the certification, but here the person is without a pulse in front of you. <laughs> DJ, there's appropriate and inappropriate communication. And what you just said was inappropriate. But let me ask you a question. Do you go to the doctor when you're well? I go when I'm sick. You go when you're sick. Do you come to school and are expected to know everything about math and English and history and social and emotional skills? You can learn a little bit. You can. And you've got a little bit to learn. But you know what, DJ? I can't wait to help you and teach you. So I've been thinking in the last few seconds. Um, I give jobs to my students. Do you remember jobs like in kindergarten? Jobs? Uh-huh. Yeah, I was a line leader. I bet you were every day. <laughs> right by the teacher. No caboose for you. Well, DJ, we don't have jobs exactly like kindergarten, but I have jobs that are applicable to your chronological age, your gifts, your personality. Because this is not my class, this is our class. I can't run it by myself. It's a democracy. Welcome to a democracy. I'm the president, <laughs> but you're citizens, and you have a voice and a vote. So I was thinking, I already see your gifts. I take about two weeks to figure out what gift is best for what student, based on a multiple intelligence survey, based on personality inventories and activities that we'll do, I don't need two weeks for you. <laughs> no, buddy, your gifts are so overt. You have this amazing gift called charisma. Do you know what that means? Charisma? Uh-huh. I'm cute? Not exactly. <laughs> It means that you see all these students in this classroom, they belong right here in the palm of your hand. You are wired to be what Howard Gardner from Harvard University refers to as an interpersonal intelligent person. You're a people person. You're meant for this. You own a room when you walk in. So you have that charisma, that's what that means. And you have a smile like I've never seen Aww. before. Wow. <laughs> what a smile. So studying you, like a detective, I see charisma and a smile and this great personality. So I want to offer you a job day one if you'd be willing. Since you need to be noticed, the world is your stage. I want to offer you a job as a greeter. Have you ever noticed a greeter at Walmart? <laughs> they stand at the door and they say, have a great day, here's your buggy. We all need to be greeted. And it's typically the teacher's responsibility. But I want to pass that responsibility on to you, if you'd be willing. Because you need to be seen first. And you have that charisma that is very difficult to find in people. So it would start tomorrow and... <gasps> I have another idea. Never done this before, but because of your innate abilities, I want to offer, after the tardy bell rings, 
two to three minutes for you to come to the center of the room and say, what's up? <laughs> Hold on, wait, 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 wait. I know. You mean to tell me I get to stand at the door every day? Every day. I'm the first person everybody sees. Got to be. Then on top of that, I get to come and stand in front of the class. Right here. And have my own session for two to three minutes. Appropriate communication, like what's up on the U.S. history test, what's up with room time football. Hi. Okay, <laughs> there's just one simple catch. Take a deep breath, where's that smile? <laughs> you just gotta be on time. Let's, wow. If you're gonna be the first person everybody sees, you gotta be here first. Let's start over. My name is Donna Porter. It's such an honor to be your teacher. You have walked into a place that's literally gonna save your life. We've discovered your gifts and we're never gonna let them go. That backpack you threw down, pick it up. We're on our syllabus. It's gonna be a magical year. Now as I turned to walk away at this moment, I thought to myself, this lady crazy. <laughs> is how we look at them. 